Now with any roofing material, the most important function is to get the rainwater off it and down into the gutters. And it's no different with asphalt roof shingles. So while the end result is still the same, how roof shingles transition that rainwater into the gutter, it is a little different. A specifically shaped metal strip, this is called the drip edge. And this is installed along the edges of the roof to direct the water into the gutters. And there are a number of considerations to take into account before installing. So let's go take a look and see how to properly install the drip edge. After the entire roof is covered in ply, the next step is to install the drip edge. As mentioned, the most important function of the drip edge is to protect the plywood deck at the eave and also to divert water into the gutters. However, the other function is a little more discreet. The drip edge we use actually serves as a cover for the roof ventilation air intake as well. When the plywood is installed, a gap is left to allow air to enter the roof cavity. The drip edge we are using on this home does a great job covering this gap while still allowing for excellent ventilation. There's a few key features of the drip edge that are important to point out. The drip edge extends 120 mils back up the roof, and this is significantly longer than others and provides that extra bit of protection in case any water tries to backtrack up under the shingle. The actual edge has been carefully shaped on about a 45 degree angle to allow a clear overhang over the gutter. And it also has a pre-bent lip to further ensure water drips directly into the gutter. Installing the drip edge is actually quite easy to do, so long as you follow a few key principles. Although the drip edge must sufficiently overhang over the gutter, it also needs to be straight because it will serve as your starting line when installing the shingles. As you set the drip edge in place, make sure there is at least 40mm overhang over the gutter. You do this by measuring from the fascia to the lip of the drip edge. With help, measure at both ends, and when satisfied you have the correct overhang, drive a nail to hold the drip edge in place. Then, nail along the entire length of 100 to 150 mil spacings. This is to make sure that the drip edge remains perfectly straight. When complete, you'll end up with a very neat edge that's ready for the next step of the asphalt roof shingle installation process.